Hello guys, this is Somitra from Modishala Software. Today I am going to show you the demonstration of Modishala POA software. This is a wine shop management software where you can maintain and manage all the day to day activity in a wine shop. So let's get started. Modusala POS. This is our software icon. For login, you just need to double click here. Then yes. Now, this is your login screen. As soon as it appears, you just need to select the user, then counter. Then you need to put password. After that, click on login. So this is how basically home screen. I am trying to show you by taking one single item. So let's uh, directly go to a report first. Click on report, shop report. Now brand name alloys. I'm turning it to A4 that little uh, report will be a little easier to show. Now, you can see here 100 cup of whiskey. This is our brand name 750 ml, 17 piece in opening, no purchase till now. So, 17 piece is total, no sale. So, 17 is closing. Okay. Now, I am going to the sell window first. Sell POS. You just need to click here, then add it. Your sell screen will appear. Okay. So, basically, this is our sell screen. You can see here the brand name is showing. If I want to sell the 100 fiber whiskey, you just need to touch here. Okay. After that, if you want to show, sell the 100 fiber 750, you just need to click here or touch there. The item will show on right side. If you want to increase the quantity, you can click it again or you can increase the quantity by clicking on plus button. Or else you can click here and put the required quantity here and just need to they need to click on OK. After that, you need to save. So, I just touch here on the particular icon which I want to sell. If you have barcode, you just you can just scan from here. This is your search box for from where you can scan the bottles and the item will similarly show on the right side. If you have barcode scan or else you can sell by touching the items so next this is basically cash sale option after that if you want to sell item through card if you have cards will be missing then you just need to go to the card option after that you can select particular bank then you can sell the item after that you need to save it or you can do this after scanning the item also, I'm just scanning it. This is basically in cash options. If anybody or any uh, customer uh, want to make payment to cart, after scanning the bottle or after touching the items, you can also go to the cart. Okay, you need to select the card option. Now save it. Similarly, UK option is available. 105 to scanned here. Okay, if anyone once you make payment to UPI, you just need to click on UPI. After that, whatever UPI you have, phone pay, Google pay, whatever they want to make payment, you just need to select here. After that, save it. Okay. Now, I'm going to the report again because I just want to show one thing that first I shown you the report 100 pepper 750 was on 17 piece in stock and after that I have some sale entry done. So let's see the quantity is deducted or not. Okay. For that, we need to go to the report option again. Stock report, then brand name voice. Change the layout to a four. Show. Hundred five for seven fifty. 
seventy piece piece one is was in the shop. Now fourteen piece were sold. So three piece is closing. So this way you can maintain your inventory properly. Now I am going to the sale page again because because there is different options is available. I am showing it one by one. I just shown cash card duty, but if any customer taking some items and after that he wants to make payment, some payment to card and some payment to cash, then what he will do? Just if you go for multi payment, the exam uh, the actual amount is two six two zero. So for example, he is giving two thousand to cash. Then you need to type 2000 here and click on cash. After that, the rest amount is 620. So you need to type here again. Then select card, ICICI Bank, or UPI. In the same process, you can go for UPI also. So this is the multi-payment option. So already described about cash sale, card sale, UPI, and multi-payment. Now. I am taking some items here. After that, if any customer asking about this item, and after that he is telling that that I will take this item after some time. Okay, then if you want to buy it, you can click here. You can click on yes. The total item will will erase from here. But same time. If that particular customer comes and asks for that items, you need to scan it again. So for this, you can do one thing: when customer is asking for items and telling you that that after some time I take that, you just need to click on hold. That will be on hold, and you can scan the items for next customer also. So after that, when the particular customer comes and asks for items, then you just need to go for retrieve option. The particular bill will show here. Order number will show here. You just need to select it. The all the items will come here. After that, you can sell it. So this is our actual hold retrieve option. Now another option is available here. Like I'm scanning some items. If I want to delete this one, hundred five whiskey one eight ten, I just need to delete from here. If I want to delete Increase the quantity. You can increase from here. If you want to decrease the quantity, you can decrease from here. Or else, you can void total bill also by clicking the void option. Now, if you want to see the stock, you can go to the uh, stock report. Or if you want to see the stock from this window, you just need to click the current stock option. Your live stock will show you. Okay. See, hundred five to seven fifty ml, fifteen bottles are sold. Two piece left in stock. Like this, all the stock will show here. Now, after selling some items, if you want to reprint any particular bill, you can go for bill print. You need to show here. All the bill will show here. If you want to print the particular bill, you need to select from here which bill you want to make print out. After that, you can print from here. Print option is available here. You can show items also. What are the items that was on that bill? You can show here. So these are the sale option available on our sale window. Now I am going for sale report. At the end of the day sale, we need to check out the reports also. So I am going for reports, sales report, sales statement. I need to show here.
these are the items sanded pepper whiskey if you want to change it to a4 it will be a little easier to understand so, these are the items i've sold and these are the amount so from here you can check your sale in a particular day or you can select the date also for a particular day or particular month or a single financial year you can select from here the calendar option is available now next report is stock report inventory report i am showing it by brand mlos i already show that i am i'm showing it again so this is my stock report Now I am showing the purchase entry. Going to purchase, add. You need to select the supplier name from where you are purchasing the item. You need to select the storage. Storage means where you want to store the item. It is in go down or shop. For example, I am taking it to shop. Get. You need to mention here. Put the bill number, password, first number, then. Type the item. And the total is seven to ten. Put so the batch number. In case how many cases you are purchasing, two cases. You can put the case rate from here. Or else you can put the lose rate also. If you want, if you put case rate, the total amount will automatically be taken among with lose rate. And if you want to put the lose rate, you can put it. And uh, case rate and total amount will automatically take. After that, whatever the tax you have, you need to enter here. Further, you need to save. Now, let's check the stock report again. Stock report and level. Now, hundred pepper whiskey, seventy camel, seventeen piece was my stock. I purchased twenty-four piece. Total is forty-one piece. Fifteen piece I've sold. Twenty-six piece in closing. Or if you purchase any item in go down, then before sale you need to transfer it to counter. Okay. After the receipt, if you do that, then receipt transfer. Quantity will come here. So these are the basic options in our software: sale, purchase, inventory, stock management. Apart from that, you can also maintain your accounts. We have that option in transaction. In transaction, we have payment entry, receipt entry, counter entry, journal entry. These are the options we have from how you can maintain your accounts also. Payment entry means if you are taking, you are purchasing some items for a particular supplier. After that, whenever you are giving payment, you can enter it on the payment entry. Then. Your laser balance will be proper. Similarly, if you performing any credit sale, if you have some customer who uh, you sell in credit, for that, for them, if they are giving payment, you need to go for receipt entry and take receipt from them. So for that, this is that option. For counter entry. If you have sold one thousand rupees in a particular day, after that, if you are transferring it to bank, your actual cash will be zero. But at the same time, if you are not transferring it from software, your software laser balance will be on one thousand, and next day opening balance will be one thousand. So for transferring the uh, the cash balance on the bank. 
you just need to go for contra entry you need to add it you need to select cash account total amount that the total cash balance will show here then select the particular bank name why you are transferring that for example i'm transferring to icici bank you need to put the amount just for example i'm putting that 5000 okay so you need to save it that will be deducted from cash and that will be add to your bank balance and you can check reports from account secret also reports account secret general ledger now click on cash account I'm selecting today's date. Okay. Click on show ledger. See, these are my actual balance. I've transferred 5000 rupees to counter entry. So, my cash balance is now this. Similarly, you can check your bank balance, bank balance also. I transfer it to ICICI bank. So I need to select ICICI bank ledger from here. See, this was in my bank. After that, I transfer to cash from cash by contra entry 5000. This is added in my bank. So these are the basics of basic option you can maintain your inventory properly you can maintain your sale properly you can maintain your accounts properly so this is our software if any query you have you can just contact on our helpline number 8101434340 or you can contact at info at thank you